Hey, what's up, guys? It's Barbara Rote, and I'm back on your screen with the video. I can't even say. Oh, <laughs> I'm back on your screen with another. When you see me in my colors, it's not much needs to be said. It's it's Flag Day. Period. It's Flag Day. Okay. And so I turned myself into a beautiful butterfly. Papi Leon. Get into it. Get in, get into it. Okay. I struggle hard with this look, but enjoy. And yeah, enjoy my voiceover. You see it. All right, guys. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. This is my Amazon palette that I got for like $20. <laughs> And it's called the Cruise Face and Body Painting Palette. I was going to get the Mayron, but it was like $34. But anyway, I'm taking this Anastasia brush, um, angled brush. It's like a dual tip angled brush. And I'm going to start creating a wing um, high up in my um, crease. And, and then I'm going to outline that with my... Wet and Wild Black Liner. Majority of this is so self-explanatory, guys, and like, and a lot of it was me freestyling. So, <laughs> if I'm not talking much, it's because it was like freestyled, and it's like really self-explanatory, and I'm not really used to doing this kind of thing. But anyway, I'm taking that wing in with that same red paint. And I'm just basically going to bring it like a quarter of the way into my, you know, lower uh, lid area. Then I'm just going to like start creating these lines um, just to imitate that caterpillar, not caterpillar, butterfly look. Create the lines that it has on its um, wings. And basically, I'm basically freestyling it guys because I had no idea what I was doing. And everything I do, I'm just going to outline it with that same black liner from Wet n Wild. So I'm outlining each line I did. And I'm just going to bring them... Um, all the way to the top and then I'm just creating more black lines like like I said this is so self-explanatory I'm just freestyling it and then at this point I'm just like trying to clean it up because it started to get a little messy so, um, then at this point I go back into that cruise face and body painting palette I grabbed a also I didn't have the right tools for this I grabbed like a liner brush from Sedona Lace. Um, this would be easier, way easier to do with white eyeliner. But my white eyeliners, both of them dried up. <laughs> they were dried. And I'm just creating the dots that, you know, uh, butterflies have the white that they have on their wings. And I'm adding that to the end of this swing. And I'm just, wherever you see a black line, I'm like, putting a dot on the edge of it sort of kind of <laughs> just cre create that illusion and then I'm basically going to do the same exact thing on the other side uh, personally I feel like the blue side turned out better but the blue paint kind of sucked <laughs> For this, I'm taking another brush. I think it came it came from an Amazon palette. Like I'm using these cheap brushes. But yeah, uh I am creating that same wing, connecting it to the my lower lash line, and then I'm going to outline it with that black wet and wild pencil and well not pencil liner. And I'm gonna take that on the top of this blue wing. And you really have to like do it a few times for this to get whatever thickness you would like. And then you have to go back and try to clean it up because it, it, 
it gets messy if you're not like a precise person and you have a shaky hand like me. And then so I'm connecting the the wing like I did on the other side to like a quarter of a way into my lash, not lash, lid. Then I'm gonna start creating the lines, the blue lines to imitate the wing part, um, the lines on the wings and just gonna create a few with this angle brush. Then I go back with the Anastasia brush. Of course I cleaned it off as best as I could. <laughs> And I'm um, creating those lines here. And of course, I'm going to go back with the liner pencil just to go against each line on either side. So, so that it pops out more. And... So then at this point, I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm going back into that cruise palette, taking the white and then dotting the white on. Again, this is easier with a white eyeliner pencil because my dots didn't even look like perfectly circular like they should have. But again, for my first time doing it, it came out, it came out pretty, pretty cute, you know. It got the job done, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm doing the lower lash line little part um, just so it looks the wing, the, not the wing, the butterfly look looks more complete. I struggled with this so hard. Like I just didn't have the right brushes. Like I should have had like really, really thin brushes. So I'm like creating like this U shape and then like with a little hook at the end and then I'm going to add the dots. It kind of gets cut off. I'm just going to add the dots inside of the um, little hook shape. It would have been ideal for me to outline this, but it kept getting messed up and I just didn't want to mess it up. Like I did it over like a few times because <laughs> it kept getting messed up. So at this point, I'm feeling it. You know, I'm feeling it. And then I'm just going to take my 5D Darling Lashes from the dollar store. Period, poo. And I'm going to add my lashes and that lashes really brought it out and made it, you know, really fluttery and wing-like and butterfly-like. And I use a uh, kiss for that. So now I'm taking my Mary Kay lip liner in the color dark chocolate. I absolutely love this. This is like one of the darkest browns and creamiest browns that I've had. Shout out to my Mary Kay girls, Ginny and Carla for putting me on. And then I'm taking the gloss, which is so nice as well. Mary Kay Unlimited lip gloss in the color chocolate nude. Then I'm just adding mascara just to uh, the mascara really brings out the the way the um, lashes look so definitely do that part don't skip it make sure you like comment and subscribe guys and this is the final look